Uh, Nick, probably the federal party that, that's had the, the the most difficulties over the past year, I, I think it's safe to say, is is the Green Party. Uh, and now they have new co-leaders, uh, a familiar face on Elizabeth May and former journalist and human rights activist uh, Jonathan Pedno. Uh, wh- where do they stand going into the new year? Well, you know, the, the Green Party is, is basically, uh, you know, in the pol- factoring the margin of error, they basically are where they were. Um, in the last uh, last federal election, so no big no big breakthrough for them, but they've had a rough time. Like mm. 2023, I'm sure they want to erase that year <laughs> as much as they can. So um, the other thing that's interesting is that the the proportion of Canadians that would consider voting NDP, when we look at the long term trend line, is a little below average, and I think a lot of this has to do with divisions within the party. So I think for Elizabeth May and Jonathan Pedno the new co-leaders uh, of the, and you know what, in Germany, the the Greens have co-leaders too, right? So mm-hmm. this isn't a, a new thing. It kind of uh, falls within the Green tradition. Um, so expect uh, expect the Green Party, I think in 2023, to focus on unity at the beginning and then to position itself to take advantage of environmental issues. Because you know what, the environment is still a top tier issue that Canadians are worried about yeah, they're worried about paying the bills. Yeah, they're worried about whether they can uh, access a doctor or get into an emergency room. But the environment is still a top tier issue. So expect the Greens to focus on unity in uh, 2023 and then to put out a renewed vision. And I think this is where, you know, Elizabeth May, if it's the same as it was before, I'm not sure that's going to work. I think she has to take advantage of the fact that she now has a co-leader to kind of explain how this is different, to mm-hmm. explain kind of how the new green agenda is enhanced uh, and, you know, where she wants to take the party. And, you know, you have to remember, you know, uh, there are a lot of progressive voters that like the liberals, the greens and the new Democrats. She's got to position the green party within that universe uh, in order to uh, in order to make some sort of breakthrough. Mm-hmm. 